from time to time to be reminded there is a story behind all of this because intention is what fuels life intention fuels life you want to have quality life and that automatically only means for me you fill up every moment and everything that you do you are the one who fills it up with quality you don't wait for anything to happen to make something be out of quality you are the one we are the one who can fill up whatever we're doing with quality put intention behind it don't do things empty don't do a movement empty if you are not in the mood to do the training do something else you're in the mood to do that's not what I always say but sometimes I do that if I can see already somebody is in the training room and his energy is not correct his mind is not there is useless yeah sometimes they have other things on the mind that they would maybe prefer to do or they still have some work on the mind where they think it's important but uh, I cannot focus then I better let them do that because the important part no matter what it is it is that reminder it is up to your intention it is your thoughts that is fueling the quality of life I think it's time to really give sense to give purpose and to give an understanding to the things that you are encountering in this lifetime. In this talk, for example, today, we mention already very often mindfulness. That word is out in this world so often right now. But take your time and think about it. What does it actually refer to? How can you personally use that word in, com in combination with, with what I just try to let's say express over here mindfulness is not the absence of thoughts you are not trying to get rid of the thoughts mindfulness means your mind is full mind full but it is full of something that you chose you individually chose this is my purpose this is my intention of why I'm doing something you do your work put some intention behind it you are speaking to a person be clear about your intention why are you speaking to the person you're texting something be clear about what is your intention why are you typing it and stop doing stuff in this world that doesn't mean anything to you and that has no intention because the whole point about why do I need this intention because only intention mobilizes energy and why do we need mobilized energy because only mobilized energy is creating something what do I mean if you continue doing stuff without intention the result is going to be the same. You create nothing. Yeah, so it, it's like you, you never sent the messages because they were empty. And so this is the moment now where you practice from the moment you wake up in the morning. Don't do unnecessary things. Brushing the teeth is not unnecessary. There is a purpose behind it. There is an intention behind this. You want your teeth to be healthy. That is an intention. You drink the coffee. You would like that you wake up a little bit more and be a little bit more active. Why do you want to be a little bit more active? Because 
Because with that extra power, with that extra energy, you can work more efficiently. You can work better. You can do more things the whole day long. And why would you want that? Because you want to help. You want to contribute to something bigger. There is a whole range of intention that each individual can put into his daily life. I can't say what are you supposed to, uh, what type of intention you're supposed to put in there. That is the special part. That it is not about what you do. It is about how you do the stuff. How you are writing the messages. How you are communicating with people. How you are walking through this lifetime. It doesn't matter what you do. It's the how. And this is something which is way bigger than, than keeping than keeping it limited to a Shaolin temple. It's just that within this temple, we have our ways. But the underlying principle is not limited at all to this organization only. It's something which belongs out there to the humans to know. It's just that that special part, why I'm so enthusiastic sometimes about this topic is, that I'm so happy that it still exists in this type of knowledge inside this temple. But now growing up in the monastery and at the same time in this Western world, I see this one is missing out there, but it belongs out. And this is why my, my wish was always to find this combination that maybe started in the East or is found in the East but it needs to come back because in essence it is not separated it's just I don't know got blocked or got lost or whatever but this needs to come out If you enjoyed this video, please head over to mulliganbrothers.com where you can support us. You can now get the Memento Mori poster with 10% off using code STOIC.